Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're well. Today I just thought I would do a little quick, cute, get ready with me Valentine's Day special for if you are going on a date or if you are having a girls' night out for Valentine's or if you just want to glam up and sit in your loungewear like I do on the regs because I'm a lady of leisure. I thought we could also have a discussion about dating, first dates, as I am a, I've experienced some of that recently. <laughs> So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go like quite, quite classic with this. And, and by classic, I mean cliche, Valentine's Day, tacky, pinks, reds, that kind of thing. As you can see, I have adorned the studio of Aussie's hats. Mm -mm. So anyway, let's get cracking. I have actually moisturized already today, but for um, purposes of the video, I'm going to moisturize skin. Gonna be using my skin longevity, Reminals. I love this moisturizer it's so good it smells delicious as well and it's got spf in and we all need some of that in our life so um i'm gonna go with the eyes i'm gonna go with the eye uh, i always start with a bit of um concealer in my eyes just to brighten it up so the colors pop a bit more so um this is the stay naked correcting concealer from urban decay and i just pop it on my eyelids look at it do, 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 do. Yeah! Give it a little rub, as Ainsley would say. Give it a little rub. Give your meat a rub. Okay, so I've been on a couple dating websites. Um, I've been on Hinge and I've been on Bumble. And if I'm honest, I think they're both really good dating apps. But I think Hinge is more interactive. Like, it's not a case of swiping left or right, like yes or no, it's, it's more like, it's more like you interact with something in their profile, so if you like a picture of theirs, you can like, like it, or you can ask a question about it, and, and they have like pointers on there, so you can point as in, it'll ask a question, like, are you a Netflix and chill, Netflix or clubbing, or be like, beach or mountains, or favourite place to go to on a Sunday, and then there's so many of these questions, and you answer them. And yeah, I think you're allowed like three or four on your profile and you just pick ones that you want to answer. Um, and then that gives people the opportunity to um, like respond to it. So it's just more like you pick something from someone's profile to interact with or to gauge their interest, if that makes any sense. Whereas Bumble's more like you like or you dislike them, kind of like how Tinder, like left or right swipe. Um, but I just feel like Bumble has, is less, like Bumble, like Tinder has got the reputation for people to just go there and fuck, as it were. Um, Bumble's a bit more like people looking for something proper. I'm gonna be using the Venus XL palette from Line Cramp. I've had this ages, it's probably out of date, but it's great. Gonna go with the color scallop. I'm gonna put it on my eyeballs like this. This color's really nice. It's a base color, very peachy, very 80s I feel. So to be honest, so I've been using those. I don't know, I just find it impossible to meet people like at the age that I'm at because I don't go anywhere. Like I don't meet any people. Like yeah, I'm part of boot camp and that's fine. Everyone there is like in a relationship or married. I don't have any other like clubs that I go to. I don't work for anyone. Ugh! So it's impossible when you're kind of older to meet people. So I don't really care if there's any to do around dating websites. Like I'm just like, it's just how people meet. Um, it's so common. So I, I got on both of them, I don't know why. Good Bumble, I was used to it, because that's how I met my ex. And then um, Hinge, because someone told me about it and I was really intrigued by it, like the concept of it, so I got that. And to be honest, like, I've been on more Hinge dates than Bumble dates. I was dating someone who I met on Hinge, and then I went on like a, uh, I've been on a few Hinge dates, and it's weird. Like, I find dating quite exhausting, because you have to basically introduce yourself to someone properly, like, do that whole spiel of, what you're into and what you do for a living and, and I, I think there was a phase where I was kind of I had a few dates at once that sounds a bit naughty doesn't it but it was it was they were all like first dates when you're newly single one thing that I would tell people is don't feel like you need to rush into dating again if you don't want to or if you get on the dating scene as it were like just take it cool and take it easy okay I'm gonna go in now with flora which is this proper lovely each color to go in to just start building up the layers of colour. In terms of like ideas for first dates though, I think it's good to do something where you can talk. I mean I prefer to actually just go for a drink just to get that kind of first, oh hey we've been talking online, um, let's chat, um, let's get to just have an introductory, like go for a drink maybe, a couple of drinks, 
maybe food. Um, I, I, I like to just take it sort of slow. Like, yeah, start with a drink. Then maybe on a second date, go for food. Then on a third date, do an activity. I like to build it up. Gonna go with passion for the last color. Mm. I'm just putting this one just in, right in the corner there. I love to have a smoked out color in the corner. My, one of my favorite things to do, I guess, would be like go bowling or something. Oh God. Bowling's fun because you can be competitive, um, you can shake dead booty, and you know, you've got those moments in the middle where you can kind of catch up and chat a little bit. I think that's, that's, that's a good shout. Um, a lot, nice, like a, a, a walk, like a day day in the middle of the day for a nice walk. I mean, I love a walk, so I'll be all, I'm all over that. And then, yeah, maybe like, yeah, meal out is nice too, but refrain from going places which could end up being messy. I remember going on a first date once and ate ramen. That was such a bad idea. My foundation, Bare Minerals, the best. A couple of my friends are single on the dating scene and often talk about obviously like, when do you kiss them? When do you have sex? And you know what? I am a firm believer in just doing what feels right. I'm a firm believer in just doing what the hell you wanna fucking do and go with the flow. Like, if you wanna kiss someone on the first date, go and kiss them, baby. If you wanna have sex on the first date, have sex. I'd always just say, my advice is don't expect too much. This is my opinion on it. Right, so if you have sex with someone on the first date and you're female, a lot of people will be like, oh, you're just giving it away. That makes you really super easy. And like, and that, I just think that is just such an old fashioned fucking way of thinking. Just got my Kat Von D powder, which I'm going to press onto my face. I think if you sleep with someone because you think that's what they're going to want, that's when you're kind of giving it away because you feel like you have, you're you doing that to please them because you think that's what they want from you. If you sleep with someone because you want to have sex and you're like, this person is banging hot or, or like I'm drunk and I'm feeling frisky and you get laid, Round of applause. I don't think it makes you easy because you're two fucking human beings. It takes two to tango, baby. And why is it that there's always this old fashioned notion of she's the easy one. He's the one also getting, having sex as well, putting his, putting himself out there. So I'm just totally against that viewpoint. If you wanna have sex on the first date and you're comfortable doing that and you don't feel pressured, or you don't feel like you got to and you just want to do it and you're going to go with the flow, then by all means do it. I've heard this happen before, like if you sleep with a guy or a girl, or whatever, and they don't call you back or they don't text you back, okay, fair enough, bit of a dick move because they could just like talk to you about it or just say they're not looking for anything, whatever. Don't worry about it. Be like, okay, fine, well, I got, I got laid, so what? But let's move on to the next one or let's not fret, let's just. I'm still single. I, I, I never expect too much of anybody from, from the beginning. Like I like to keep some sort of, not guard, but like s some sort of level of caution because you know, someone, people can just turn around and ghost you or bail on you or whatever. So not having that expectation from the beginning means you won't get disappointed. Um, people don't owe you anything like to begin with either, I don't think. Like that's not saying that people have a right to be an asshole. You know, every, if you're single and you're just sort of play in the field as it were or you're just seeing what's out there there'll become a point where there's a mutual like understanding where you're like all right this feels like it's going somewhere solidify this whatever it is or make it more i don't know it's hard to explain but i just feel like dating is it dating is hard dating is stressful just you just do you you know enjoy yourself be safe enjoy yourself don't worry about what people are thinking about you got the cat one lalita palette oh, i just think you need to just go with the flow, man. No one else is allowed to judge you for what you do with your time. There's no fucking rule book. Just have some fun and then the right person will come along and you'll fall head over heels for them and then you'll get married and have lots of babies and have lots of puppies and it'll just be the best thing ever. <laughs> okay, put some brows on. Dust some of glossy brow pen. I always get like really nervous around dating. Like, I never get nervous for really anything. I just find I just find it really nerve wracking sometimes, especially when you're like quite into them. Sometimes I feel like I can't eat. I, I just like I just lose my appetite, which sounds really unhealthy and bad. It's just nerve. When you find someone that you really click with and that you 
get on with really well, I, I don't get those feelings. Like maybe initially at first I'm like, oh, then it's like fine. I don't know. Then sometimes you'll meet someone that is just so right and feels really good with, that you feel really good with, that you just actually just feel like a comfortable person, you feel comfortable. But it is, it, sometimes it just feels like it's a bloody minefield. Like you'll be talking to someone, you think it's going all right, and then they stop talking to you, or you match someone, and then you start talking to them, and then they just don't talk back, and you're like, what, what's the fucking point in that? Put your drink down. <laughs> Eyeliner, <laughs> benefit. How do you feel within yourself? Like this year, you've gone from being in a relationship you feel like your compatibility wasn't quite there anymore to actually just seeking happiness. I think you've been happier being on your own than being with someone, but you know, you also like the company and bonding with someone. So like, do you prefer being in a relationship or have you preferred being single? Has it given you an opportunity to fall back in love with yourself? My previous relationship I wasn't happy in, I kind of knew, I kind of knew that there was gonna be someone out there more compatible with me. I have enjoyed being single because it's given me time to, it's given me time to try to think about what I want. I, I've been able to just go on dates and have a bit of fun and do nice things, just go for drinks and meet new people and just chat. But essentially I do think that I have been happier on my own because it's just given me this freedom of being able to go out and do things and meet new people, but also have me time. And I think I have realized that I am quite, even though I don't, I love being around people and having company, I do actually like my own solitude and my own time to just sit. Like I love being able to think, oh, it's Wednesday and I've got in from being at work and then what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna edit loads of videos and cook some Kievs and then have a long bath and, watch some shit TV all on my own. Cause I can, cause I'm on my own. And I love that, I love that. But I do really like company as well. I like being able to arrange to go out for meals or have someone to cuddle on the sofa, have sex. <laughs> so I do miss having someone around, but I feel like I'm kind of still comfortable in my own skin enough. I'm not saying that you're not comfortable in your own skin if you've got, but, but I'm still happy within myself to be on my own as well. So I'm, I like, I'm in like the perfect position. I feel like I could be single, could be single forever, or I could be in a relationship. Either way, I'm happy. I think you're finding out what qualities you like in people and what you mm -hmm. don't like. For sure. Like, I've met a few people. Obviously, I've had enough relationships now that have obviously failed. And um, there's been personality traits in all of them which I've liked and which I haven't liked. I mean, every person I've been with has had something about them that I've really enjoyed. And then there's some people that I've that had things about them which I've really not enjoyed. And I'm now I now just really know what I want. So is that make, is that made me a picky person? I guess so, because I don't want to waste my time with someone that I know isn't going to make me happy. I've got some lashes here. They're from a Primark mega set. My ideal partner is someone that's kind and generous, down to earth, a family kind of person but who has also got their own interests, their own shit going on. They're not needy. They don't need me all the time. They're happy with me to swan off and do my own thing. They're funny. Um, they like goofing about and always up for doing stuff. And want to battle with you. So they'll, yeah. they'll tell you when you're wrong. They'll tell me when I'm wrong. They won't be afraid of me. They'll put me in my place. I don't want someone that worships the ground I walk on either, because I'm a fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly wait for ages for my eyelash to go tacky. 30 seconds is not long enough. Yeah! <laughs> That's really nice. Go, try! When, when is the right time to tell someone you love them? When is the right time to tell someone you love them? Don't think there is a right time. It's hard. Cause like, if you love someone, sometimes it just slips out. I don't think there's a right time for anything though. When is a right time? Who makes up these fucking rules? When is it the right time to say I love you? When is it the right time to propose? When is it the right time to move in together? It's only down to you, isn't it? Cause everyone's feelings are different. Everyone feels things at different rates. Sometimes you could just be so sure of someone that you think, you know what? This person is everything I've ever wanted. Fucking love them. I love you. I love you. What makes you feel sexy? 
What makes me feel sexy is... Like, I know you have a stripper playlist. <laughs> yes. What makes you feel sexy? What makes you feel good in yourself? Confident. Nice set of pants. Round a man. <laughs> Round a man. Uh, my nice pants, they help. My ass, get my ass out. Like, <laughs> pants pulled up. My ass, just ass in. Being like, touched all over. Like, caressed. And kissed all over. Cause it just shows appreciation and them wanting to please you in your body. Confidence helps. Sometimes I feel like I'm not sexy because I'm such a goofball in my normal day-to-day -day life. Like I don't give a fuck, I'm just always goofing around. And I think stereotypically I'm just not sexy in my manner. That eyelash is so long, can I trim that? <sighs> sexy is down, is, sexy is always down for your own. It's subjective, isn't it? Mm. I feel sexy when I've got nice pants on and when, um, Makeup or? No, you know, sometimes I feel sex sexiest when I'm barefaced. Cause like, sometimes a guy will tell you how like gorgeous you are. Like my, like I've been told how like gorgeous my freckles are. And like I'll, I'll get into bed barefaced and they're like, wow, your freckles are amazing. And I'm like, thank you. I feel Agreed. like, I feel like <laughs> natural. I feel like I'm in my most natural form and you like it so cool. Um, I don't know, like my stripper playlist, just feeling badass. Sometimes you don't feel sexy. But I think it's also how they, res they respond to you can make you feel sexy, like a confidence boost. Feeling romantic and valentines -y. Hope you like this video. And it was a nice chat. And you like this look? Thanks for watching.